Hi everyone. In this video, I'm actually going to go over how I keep my hair healthy, strong, and shiny. But first, for all things beauty and skincare, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you know every time I upload a new video every week. Okay, so first let's talk a little bit about my hair um, before we get started on the 10 things I wanna tell you about how to keep your hair healthy. Um, for me, I have never had extensions and um, uh, I don't like extensions. It's just I feel like it kind of damages the hair, but that's just me, I don't use extensions and I only um, do a single process on the root. Um, that means I don't touch any of this. I don't do the highlights um, here. So um, that's just a little bit about my hair. And then we'll get into the, uh, the top 10 that I think you should be doing. The number one thing I think that it's important is to do frequent trims. Um, this eliminates any um, uh, breakage and it also helps the hair follicles repair any damage that you may have. And for me, I get my hair trimmed probably only twice a year but it is recommended um, that you get it every couple months. So just know what's good for your hair. I know that works for, for my hair. Um, so that's number one. Number two, treat your hair like you would treat your skin. And by that I mean, if you're unsure of like a new product for your hair, I would try it on your skin. If your skin, if it makes your skin feel dry or you know oily then most likely it's going or greasy then most likely it's going to make your hair feel dry or greasy so just kind of keep that in mind um if again it's a new product if but if you're loving your products then just keep using that it's always good to keep things in a steady routine okay number three don't over process your hair like i said earlier i only do a single process which means it only touches my root not the rest of the hair so um, just be mindful of that. Um, I know a lot of people do do it, but if you're going to be doing it, make sure you're using products that hydrate your hair. Number four, sleep on a silk pillowcase. I've said this before, actually for my skin, it's really great for your hair as well. It avoids tangles and breakage, which is really, really great. Um, when I wake up, I actually feel like it, my hair is shinier because of it. Um, I'll list some options down below if you're interested in any silk pillowcases, but you should get that in, in uh, for sure, for, for your skin and for your hair. Number five, brush your hair right before bed and start at the scalp and then work your way down. This actually brings in your natural oils through the rest of the hair, which keeps it nice and shiny and silky. And it also increases circulation, which is really great. Number six, uh, be careful when you're brushing your hair when it's wet. Um, it's very susceptible to breakage when it's wet. So I always use a very, um, sorry about all the hair here, but it's a wide um, bristly brush when it's wet. And I start at the bottom and then work my way up to the top. And don't forget the bottom of your hair. Make sure you're doing all of your hair, not just the top. Um, but again, just be very, very careful when it's wet. I also use the wide bristled comb as well. But again, start at the bottom, work your way up. Number seven, eat healthy foods. Try getting more protein in your diet, like fish, beans, nuts, whole grains, things like that. Also vitamins such as A, C, and E, and omega fatty acids are also really, really great for healthy hair. Number eight, at the very like last minute of your shower, try doing a, a cooler temperature, maybe even cold if you can. This seals in the cuticle and helps um, to prevent any damages and um, it's really, really, it makes your hair very shiny. Okay. Number nine, don't overuse heat styling tools. Um, most of the time when I wash my hair, I just let it air dry. I don't like to use a hair dryer at all. Um, however, as far as curling irons, I do need to curl my hair because my hair would look absolutely crazy if I didn't. But just remember when you're doing that to use a heat protectant sealant and I'll list some of my favorites that I use down below as well. Okay, number 10, the last one, and it's definitely not the least of them, is don't wash your hair every day. I know I've said this many times, I only wash my hair one or two times a week. 
mostly one time a week. I know that sounds gross, but it really does. It's made my hair look so much better, I promise you. If you can do it, not everybody can, but if you can, I would recommend doing it. It just makes the natural oils come through and penetrate the, the hair cuticle. Um, it's just also just I feel much better for me and it's just I, again like I can't I cannot stress to you how much better my hair has looked uh, since not washing my hair every day. I do understand that everyone can do it but if you can try it and get and see what you think. Okay, so that is my video on how to get healthier, shinier hair. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Have a fabulous day.